Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. But today I have a little dash of Pusheen to share with you because I just received my summer Pusheen box from Culturefly. Now Culturefly puts together several different subscription boxes for different fandoms, but this is the only one that I get because while I usually consider my style pretty sophisticated and streamlined, lined and classic. I do have a soft spot for things that are just very cute, very kawaii, or that have anything to do with this little gray cartoon cat, which is Pusheen. Now this box is $43.95 per season plus $6 in shipping, which is actually a pretty good deal for a seasonal subscription. And if you do an annual subscription, then you actually save some money and it brings each box to under $40. I will say that this is an adult subscription. So while there are apparel items and you give them your size, they don't actually have kid sizes and a lot of the items are actually very useful like lifestyle things I know one of the things that I received in a previous box was this little like desk vacuum which at first I thought I would never use but I actually find myself using it all the time there is usually a vinyl figurine as well which I'm not really a collector of vinyl so for me that's just something I'm gonna keep to the side and maybe eventually resell or maybe I guess I will have a collection after getting a certain number of Pusheen boxes but all of the items in the Pusheen box are exclusive to the Pusheen box which makes it even more fun so let's get into it first of all I have to of course show you a little bit more of the box it's always decorated as Pusheen herself and the theme for the summer box is Camp Pusheen so you can kind of see that there on her little handkerchief and the detail that I always think is the cutest is it's always got her little paw prints on the bottom which I think is so so sweet and these are very well made boxes usually it comes in a plastic wrapper. Mine has a few little dents on it, but it still seems like something that I can use to store all of those great Pusheen items. So inside we've got Pusheen on the inside cover. I can already see a nice bright apparel item. And we have our product card. Now their product cards don't usually include any retail values because again, they're making all of these products in-house at Culture Fly. But it looks like this round, we have got seven different items all in that Camp Pusheen theme. And actually eight if you include the vinyl figurine, which was one of the spoilers. It's a pretty big one, um, but it does look pretty sweet. So let's look at the apparel item first. So this is actually cute. It looks like a little ringer neck t-shirt. So it's in teal. With these blue details and then here is the image on the front nice and simple it's just got that sort of like classic outdoorsy styling graphic so it just says Camp Pusheen I actually think this is pretty cute and it's very soft so I'm happy to have this I don't wear a lot of t-shirts but this is definitely something I can see myself wearing around the house and happy to have it says this comfy ringer tee features an exclusive Pusheen camp graphic so happy to have that and then you can kind of see underneath the shirt Shirt, little spoiler a little spoiler of the other things so one thing that I am seeing that I'm very excited in past boxes ones that I have not received in addition to the vinyl figurine they had like a little plush now I don't really need any more stuffed animals but I was really excited to finally get a little squishy Pusheen so this one is Pusheen holding a marshmallow and of course Pusheen is pretty much a marshmallow herself but let's open this up it says this soft Pusheen plush is so tiny and cute cute you'll wish you had some more of them right good pun because she's holding a little marshmallow and it is so like velvety soft so so cute and the whiskers are actually freestanding they kind of stick out they got a little mush there in the bag but I do think this is super sweet and squishy and you can see it's got her little tail on the back and I can probably get it to stand up somewhere on a shelf it's just something to cute I have a lot of like cute little things decorating my shelf and my desk and I think this is another one of them oh so this is kind of a fun like tag you can see I don't know if I can get it to like there you go you can see your little tail that's so adorable <laughs> I think that's a fun little detail that they put that on the tag all right so let's look at the vinyl figurine 
So it does come in a nice box. So I'm not like someone who collects Funkos or anything or vinyl figurines, but so far I usually do keep the packaging because I know there are collectors out there. So one of these days, if I do decide to pass these on, they will be nice and pristine. But for the sake of showing you guys, I think I can do that pretty safely without ruining the packaging at all. And then you won't have to deal with all of that glare from my light. But here it is, Pusheen and her little buddy. I think that's Stormy. I honestly don't know like all of the Pusheen cast of characters. So someone can definitely school me on that. And we've got this like three dimensional little campfire and then roasting marshmallows. And I guess, I think those, the little chocolate. I'm not really sure what that is. What do you guys think that is? At first I thought it was like a hot dog or something, but I think it's maybe the chocolate like being held on on there i'm not really sure but it is pretty darn cute i've gotten a couple of these and this one is one of my favorites honestly even though it's kind of big so this would take up a lot of space on your desk but the actual pusheen is very small in the past the vinyl figurine the pusheen has been bigger so i guess like in terms of like surface area or desk space that it would take up it's about the same as past ones that i have received so let me just put that off to the side as carefully as i can now the next thing that I am seeing, this was one of the spoilers and this is super duper bound up. It is a Pusheen picnic blanket and you can see they've really rolled it up in like this, it's a microfiber and then I'm trying to see how you open this up nicely because as you all know, I do like to take photos for Instagram. So if you're not following me over there on Instagram, that would be super duper helpful. It's really helpful for me just in terms of making announcements about the channel, but also when I'm talking to different subscription companies when I have like a pretty big following over there it definitely helps to support me in terms of convincing them to send me their boxes to review for you guys so I have to figure out how this this works because it was just like looped on there but I guess you just can cinch it tighter on either end it's kind of like a yoga mat strap and then we've got Pusheen on this blanket. I probably won't roll it all the way out because you guys wouldn't be able to see it in the frame anyway. But here's Pusheen. I just love the colors. It's like on this kind of creamish background. And then I love all of these, oh, it's kind of like retro colors. And it's just Pusheen kind of peeking out from behind those stripes. And that's the only image of Pusheen on there. So, I mean, it is still a little like cartoon cat, but it's still pretty cute. And then on the back, it's nice because it's got this kind of fabric, which seems like it would wash really well or wipe off really well. So it really is a great picnic blanket, more so than like a beach towel that you would dry off with. But it's gonna protect you from any damp that's coming up from the soil so great little item I'll just show you guys it says this portable blanket has a waterproof back and is ideal to sit on for any outdoor activity so I'll just show you that image right there so you can kind of see what it looks like so Pusheen's just kind of peeking out from the bottom stripes so that would definitely be great for social distancing I know a lot of us are doing more little like picnics in the parks and then one day when we're able to like go to outdoor concerts and stuff this is the perfect compact uh, way to sit on the grass without getting your bum a little bit damp. So super happy to have that. Let's see what else we've got in the box. I think that was a nice functional item. Now the next thing, a little bit less functional, but still cute. It's just a pennant. I can't imagine like the last time I got a pennant. I'm gonna try to not open it out of the plastic so I can keep it nice and safe. So just a simple felt pennant that you could hang on your wall. And it says, show your love for Pusheen with this vintage style felt pennant. So that's not really like a big ticket item for me, but it's cute and it's small, which is nice. So let's see what else we've got. Another functional item that came in this nice big box I do appreciate all of the packaging and I will say that I have interacted with the Pusheen box or the culture fly customer service department a couple of times when I've gotten something that seemed a little bit damaged a little bit off they've always responded to me super duper quickly and sent out replacements when I need but fingers crossed we don't need any replacements yet from this box um, things are kind of rattling around in there though it says take food anywhere with this thermos that comes with a foldable spoon so that's exciting you guys know I always have so much trouble opening boxes like this without just like tearing them apart so let me see if I can get into it without making a giant mess 
It's packaged in here pretty good. We've got a whole bunch of styrofoam, so hopefully I don't make too many of those terrible styrofoam sounds. Here we go. It's like an old school thermos and I'm kind of into it. I think that's kind of great. So again, it's got these like retro colors. It's got that simple graphic Camp Pusheen. Pretty subtle in all honesty because you just have like Pusheen here in the background, almost like part of the mountain range. I like this kind of matte orangey top. And let's see if I can open it up. That's the, that's the real trick, right? seeing if I can figure out how to open this because I can hear that spoon inside. So that's good. It seems like it seals up pretty well if you wanted to have some, some soup in there. So of course here is your little cup that you could definitely use. And then this is really nice. It sits right on top. It almost looks like nail clippers, but it is a foldable spoon. And I love that this is a metal spoon because this is actually super functional for camping and very, very uh, lightweight and portable. So it just has different hinges. So it actually bends in two places. You can see, there we go. And then I pulled it together and it sits right on top of the canteen. It's got its own spot. So you don't have to have it like free floating in your bag. So that is super cute. So that's plastic here on the bottom, a little bit of metal here. And then let me see if I can open up this top so we can see. So it looks pretty well insulated. It's metal there on the inside it would probably keep something warm or cold for quite a bit of time but how fun that we have a spoon so you could definitely make your like soup and have it and how stylish and adorable is that and know a lot of us are doing a little bit more camping whether it's in the backyard or actually getting out there and doing like multi-day hikes and stuff but I think this is adorable and functional it's a little bit heavy but not like any more heavy than like any thermos of this quality so this is I think my favorite item I have to try the shirt on it's probably the shirt's probably gonna be something that I like too but in terms of usability I love that thermos I think it is so so cute and I love the foldable spoon which of course you could bring with you even without the thermos just if you think that like a foldable spoon might be something useful to have and I think we've got a couple more little items so the next one is a reusable straw with case. So this is kind of fun because a lot of this is kind of going with like plastic free July. I'm trying to see if I can get into this without opening it up, but it doesn't look like it. So let me see if I can find my scissors somewhere so that I can at least open it up nicely for you guys. All right, so it says about this, the silicone straw is eco-friendly and comes with a portable carrying case. Now, of course, reusable straws have been a really popular thing in so many different subscription boxes. I've gotten silicone ones, I've gotten metal ones, I've gotten bamboo ones, but I haven't gotten any with a, like a case like this. I did get some in, or one in my Wordy Traveler, which was great, and it did come like in kind of a tube, but it didn't have like this fun little carabiner on it, or of course this little image of Pusheen which is adorable so let's see if I can figure out how to open this so super nice so you can see there's a separate compartment here on the side for the brush to clean it and then I love that the silicone straw is in this gorgeous like teal color it's really really bent so you have to kind of play with it a little bit and then it also has the little cleaner which is so cool and it bent right into there I'm sure I'll never be able to get it back in there quite as neatly but of course then you can just use a cloth to kind of pull something through to clean it and make sure that your straw is nice and clean before you put it back into that nice carrying case which of course you could totally use for other things as well so it almost looks like an airpods carrying case but it doesn't have any of the little like nest nesting spots for it but it has a magnetic closure which is super cool I just realized that so that's a great item I think that's fun and then finally we have one last item which is very Camp Pusheen appropriate we've got some patches and they're really sweet little embroidered ones one is like felt actually they're both felt with embroidery on them so super cute there's one with the just Camp Pusheen it's just little and round and then we've got this more square one with that other image where Pusheen is kind of the mountains so I think both of those are sweet I love how because they're creating all of these items for us they're all curated in the same sort of color palette um, I'm wondering if they're iron on let's see 
it doesn't necessarily say so I do prefer iron on patches versus the ones that you actually have to stitch on because I don't have a sewing machine I'm not like that handy when it comes to sewing um, if I ever did like something with patches I'd probably just take it to like a tailor or seamstress and have them do it like nice and neat let's see it says this patch set can be ironed on perfect that's what I wanted to read can be ironed on to decorate your jacket, bag, or cap. So along with pins that I seem to be collecting in different subscription boxes, I am sort of accumulating a lot of patches. I've talked about maybe doing like a flare denim jacket with a bunch of patches. Um, these are actually pretty cute though. I think they're sweet. And even though I don't necessarily have somewhere to put them right now, they are small enough and flat enough that I can store them for a later date. So this was a great box for me. I'm not sure if it was my favorite Pusheen box, but certainly a nice mix of adorable things as well as functional things. I usually do really enjoy the apparel item that they include. So we got that cute ringer tee, we got the patch set, we got the reusable straw set, which I do actually really like and I like the packaging for it. We got the pennant, that's so-so. We got that uh, nice picnic blanket that rolls right up, if I can ever roll it up quite as tightly as they did. We got the super awesome um, thermos, which I do love. I do think this is my favorite item. And then in terms of cute, like, tchotchke things, we got both the vinyl figurine as well as the adorable and very soft plush, which could be like your little like stress toy or just something that makes you smile in the middle of a stressful day. Let me know what you guys thought about this Pusheen box. Let me know if you've even heard of Pusheen before. If you have, you can tell me all about the different cast of characters. I know there's like a sloth. I don't know what the sloth's name is. Uh, I keep meaning to look it up. Other than that, you guys, if you appreciated this video, if you appreciate some of the quirkier, more random boxes that I open on the channel, please do give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.